you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Logan. This is Timeless Personal Growth and Development. Thought I would do a quick five to eight minute video for you guys talking about compartmentalization. Compartmentalization, where it's a skill that as adults we need to learn and we need to have, especially when we have a lot of things going in our life, we have a lot of responsibilities being pulled in 800 different directions throughout our day. We need to compartmentalize. And I'm going to go through a few strategies, a few little, basically activities that are going to, that help in compartmentalization. You, for one, one activity that really helps is any kind of martial arts, any kind of martial art activities. For example, the other week I was going to my jujitsu class and I was thinking about other things that were bothering me. I was letting things get into my head a little bit. I was getting unfocused on what I was, what I was doing as I was walking to my class. And I started to realize once you get there, once I get into jujitsu and you're on the mat and you're rolling with people and you're going through the techniques, your brain and your body cannot afford to be thinking about other things. You need to be focused and need to be present in what you're doing at the moment. It's an activity that forces your brain and your mind to be present and in the moment. And there's too many, too many things throughout our day where we get very distracted and we're focused on whatever we're doing or in the moment we're thinking and we're unfocused because we're thinking about something else. Something that's bothering us. Something that's not even in our moment, in our present moment. It doesn't even exist in our moment. But something in our back of our head that's bothering us. And it's it's not benefiting you. It's not helping you in any way. It's actually distracting you from what you're doing. It's actually distract, distracting your performance of what you're doing in that moment. So if you're doing something of importance in that moment, if you're writing a report, if you're at work, if you're out with friends talking, and they're talking and having a conversation with you and they can sense that your brain your mind is not on them and your brain somewhere else people can sense that people know that people can get that feeling when you're distracted by something else and not focus on the task at hand and that's part of compartmentalizing is whatever's bothering you okay it's bothering you guess what you're you're in a situation where you can't do anything about that right now. You can't focus on that. Put, put it in the back of your head. Put it in the back burner because there's nothing you can do about that right now. Absolutely nothing. So just forget about it and focus on what you have in the moment. Especially when you're with family and friends. It's a little offensive. It's a little insulting when they want to spend time with you and connect with you and you're out thinking about something else, your head's in the clouds, and they can sense it. So going back to martial arts, that is an activity that's really going to force you. Like for, it's going to force you 100%. Because if you're not, fo if you're thinking about something else during martial arts, and you go on the mat and, and you start rolling with someone, and you realize, oh my god, I didn't even listen to the five minutes of instructions that my instructor just gave us. I don't even know what to do because I wasn't paying attention because I wasn't compartmentalizing. I was thinking about something else. Crap, and you end the mat, you don't know what to do. You start panicking and you start rolling and you get tapped out because you're not focused on what you're doing in the present moment. It forces you to be present in that moment. So whatever is bothering you, compartmentalize it. It doesn't matter in the moment because you'll attend to that problem later you'll schedule time during your day and you'll do that later because at the end of the day it doesn't hurt anyone but you I think actually one of one of the and, and we were all guilty of doing this I've done it too many times one of the activities that actually doesn't help with compartmentalization that's actually it actually ruins it is being in school being in a university class and listening to a three-hour lecture. Everybody's mind wanders to different things. Of course. 
Of course, because you're in an environment where you're not engaged in the conversation. You're my you're you're not being forced into an interactive situation in that moment. Because all you have to do is just sit there and listen and you're sitting like 30 feet away from the teacher. You can barely hear the teacher and you're looking and you're just, your mind somewhere else. And that environment doesn't help to compartmentalize. So you want to get better at compartmentalizing because, because you're going to have a lot of responsibilities as you get older, as you age. Especially you want to build a future for yourself and have family and have a lot of responsibilities. Like I said, being pulled in 800 different directions, you have a lot of responsibilities. You've got to train the brain to be able to compartmentalize and to be able to think to yourself, okay, yeah, my re relationship problem or my professional problem, you know what, that doesn't matter because I'm not in that environment. I will deal with that situation when I'm in that environment because the environment that you are in currently if you're not compartmentalizing and focus and engage and present in the moment, your performance suffers because of that. And if it's an employer, they're going to see that, that you're, you're not there. You're distracted. If you're at home with your spouse and you're distracted by a problem at work, they're going to see you're not compartmentalizing. You're not engaged in the moment. Kids want to play with you. you don't, you're upset about something else that has nothing to do with your children. They're going to sense that and they're going to see that. And like I said in the beginning, martial arts is to me one of absolute best activities to compartmentalize your brain, to train your brain to compartmentalize. The best activity that I've done in my life, it's the best one. So think about that and marinate on that. And maybe you can find your own activity to help you compartmentalize your brain and keep you engaged and present in the moment. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Logan Ryder. Timeless personal growth and development. And I will see you in two weeks. Have a good one.